and one Coeur d'Alene student is leading a movement for change in his school district. Tomorrow, Coeur d'Alene Public Schools Board of Trustees will vote on a new dress code policy. For News Now's Allison Martinez has that story. It all started with a student survey a year and a half ago. Now a new dress code policy created by students for students will be voted on in tomorrow night's board meeting. Students were asking, they were saying, hey, please, can you guys focus on our dress code? We need some revisions. Dress codes can be difficult to understand and even more difficult to enforce. Coeur d'Alene Student Advisory Group Chair says his school district is no exception. The group has spent the last year and a half surveying students and teachers and drafting multiple versions of a policy that reflected their concerns. A big one was the primary focus on our female students. Um, there was a lot of specific things that uh, our, our girls could not wear, which seemed a, a a little bit arbitrary. Luke said they heard from teachers who said this kind of language makes the dress code difficult to enforce. But what we've done here is we've made a policy that is able to be enforced by our teachers. So it's supported by our teachers, it's supported by our building administration, and it's supported by our students. The new proposed policy states that students must wear tops that cover the front, back, and sides of the body. It also includes an enforcement section that says with some exceptions, students won't be removed from class as punishment for their clothing. We want to um, have a conversation about it, but we want to have that conversation outside of class time so that student is able to learn to the fullest extent. Luke and his classmates have worked with the school board to create a version of the policy that everyone can agree on. It makes it very clear for the parents and the students as they're as they're dealing with this and we believe that we'll have less and we'll have less issues and um, it'll just be more clear. We, we uh, we just want to have um, our focus be on, on learning and students in the classroom. This policy has been over a year in the making and it could officially go into action at tomorrow night's board meeting. I mean, that that's really the purpose of SAG is to bring forward these kind of policies, to bring forward these kind of ideas and say, hey, this is created by a student and it's for students. And so that's, it, it feels great. It does. It feels amazing. Reporting in Coeur d'Alene, Allison Martinez, 4 News Now.